Hey everybody, it's your online singing coach back again today with a new reaction and analysis. And today we are checking out Praniska Mishra. I hope I said that right. I have not seen that first name before. Let's go for it. I always just love singing. It makes me feel happy. Even <laughs> when I was like four years old, I would just pretend like I have a microphone <laughs> and I'll just like saying like I'm singing to like the the whole world. My grandma always tells me sing my heart out and that I would be running in that big stage. But I'll be really nervous of Simon because <laughs> like if somebody does a little mistake, he can like I want to see the Heidi, I want to see Sylvia, I want to see how they dress up. What are you doing in my interview? <laughs> my little so sister good. always interrupts me. But, <laughs> but she loves me. I want you to get a GB. <laughs> What's GB? Don't you know it's Golden Buzzer? <laughs> oh, Golden Buzzer. I'll try, it's kind of hard. It is. <laughs> I feel like. Those two are adorable together. Oh my gosh. The younger one's a little firecracker. Don't you know what a GB is? <laughs> so cute. I love this sister dynamic. It's adorable. I also love seeing the. The videos of Pranis, Praniska. I hope we get to hear exactly how we say this this name. As I like seeing the videos of her singing as even younger, like uh, she she looks like she loves to perform. She looks like a personality that you know she just loves to be on stage. Not every singer loves to perform. Not every singer feels comfortable in front of audiences. So I feel like Praniska is a singer who loves to sing and loves to sell it. And that's what it takes to get a, go a GB. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Literally, I'm dreaming because my big dream is like singing in front of, I don't know, like, like so many people. <laughs> Cute. And I'm in that big stage. <laughs> oh my God. Do good, do good. Okay. Now it's coming true. I can't believe it. <laughs> I just, I can't believe it. It's happening. Aww. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. You have the perfect look for the audition today. I love the look, love the dress. Who are you and where <laughs> like are you from? Angel. My name is Pranayska Mishra and I'm nine years old and I'm from Tampa, Florida. Wait, I gotta hear the name one more time. My name is Pranayska Mishra, and I'm nine years old, and I'm from Tampa, okay, Florida. Okay, there we go, Pranayska. Okay, so now I know how to say it, Pranayska. <laughs> and who is going to be the first person that you're going to call if this goes well for you today? Um, definitely, I will call my grandma because Aww. I'm. she always um, wanted me to be in this big stage, and now, finally, I'm here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Cute. Can I ask one question? Who's your favorite artist in the world? Um, I have more than one. Go on, give me a couple. Aretha Franklin, Wendy Houston, and Tina Turner. Okay. Ooh. And who would be your favorite judge if we're talking about <laughs> favorites? I have more than one. No, you can only <laughs> say one. I don't know, it's you and Heidi. Oh. It's me. Oh. It's me. Oh. It was going so well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is yeah. everyone in here ready to hear? Yeah, for a nice God. Always say Simon, just for safekeeping. <laughs> no, just kidding. That's cute. She's answering honestly. It's very cute. Whoa, those, those are divas she mentioned. Those are the divas that she mentioned. So let's hear what on earth she sounds like. I mean, I see she's singing a Tina Turner song. So this should be very interesting. <laughs> Yeah. When I was a little girl, I had a red dog. The only dog <laughs> that I ever owned. Yes, big boy. Oh my <laughs> now I love you just the way I love that red dog. But only now my love has grown. <laughs> I think I'm stronger. Nice.
oh my goodness. There's there's so much that's intriguing about Praniska and her voice and her performance. Let's go back a bit before we finish to point out some of these really cool things happening. So right away, you'll notice she's waiting, she's she's chill, she's not looking around like, uh, when's it gonna play? She's, she's ready, she is ready. And as soon as that music kicks in, mm, she's moving. She starts bobbing her head. Pretty soon her shoulders are up, she's like moving. She's excited, she loves the song, she's ready to attack. That is Praniska. She's an attacker. She doesn't ease in. She doesn't dip her toes in. She dives in. Watch this. Silence. Chill. There it is. She's hot. When I was a little girl, I had a red dog. Yes, now this first phrase really, really got me. Because she started big, big, big vocals. That vibrato is so developed. For a nine-year-old, this vibrato is crazy. It's just beautifully developed. It's it sounds like she was born with vibrato. And then the second phrase, she she's big on the when I was a little girl. And then I had a rag doll. She makes that rag doll soft and sweet and and completely changes the mood, the tone, the energy. And and I love it. I love how she's like, boom, here I am. But I also have nuance. <laughs> Just beautiful. And you'll notice as we continue the repetition of the rag doll, she brings that down again. It's so beautiful. But when she wants to, and this is a high energy song, so she's focusing a lot on that high energy. She is singing it out. Full energy, some soul in her voice careful, careful soul, which is so important at that young age. She could really damage her voice if she sings too big, too big, but she's right where she needs to be. She's singing out strong with good technique. And then when we get to the, the pre of this song, the pre-chorus, and it gets stronger, boom, she switches right into a very, very focused mixed voice. It's strong and it's that perfect placement. I know Celine did a cover of this version and in this moment of the song, she reminds me more of Celine Dion than Tina, but either way, we're talking divas. We are talking strong, beautiful, exceptional voices and Praniska's all over that with her own voice. Now I love you just the way Now listen to this lock-in. kind of like spoke out a couple of the other things She's like well that and that and that did you hear that did you hear that one moment I didn't talk about was the yeah she got a really really rich tone there really like mature tone not a nine-year-old tone at all there and again when when this chorus kicks in just seeing her energy she's like dancing she's loving it she's having such a good time and you can you can hear the voice and you're like, whoa. And then just seeing that beautiful, excited energy, that confidence, that power. Of course, the audience is going crazy. It's an amazing voice. It's an amazing performance. And she's nine. Baby, baby.
No, before we hear the uh, before we hear the judges, that last lick. Woo! This this is the hardest part of the song. I'm glad she included this part. This is where a lot of people would just cut. They'd be like, "Okay, you heard me on the chorus. I sang soulfully. I sang powerfully. That's enough, right?" But Pranayska's up to the challenge of boom. Let's get that extra credit. And boy, she delivered. This last part. If you weren't convinced, which would be very few people before. She nailed it here. Wow. Beautiful tone. Followed by that little moment of sass. Ah, what an ending. So amazing. Yeah, I heard some Aretha in there. I heard some Tina. The slides up to the up to the notes. The way she held the notes. The power. The soul. I really loved how she came off the notes. She would hold them a really long time and let that vibrato kick in. That's always good vocal technique. When you're singing big and loud and strong like that, it's really, really helpful to have a straight tone that turns into vibrato. You'll hear that all the time from singers. And there's a technical reason for that as well as an aesthetic reason. Incredible singing and that power and that energy. Oh, she was so confident. I have not seen this kind of confidence from someone so young for a while. And yet you just feel her joy as well. You feel just happiness and and this this innocent joy of just like wanting to be on stage and wanting to share and perform and rock it out for people. Wow. All right, let's see what the judges have to say. Let's watch the GB moment. what Howie, Simon, or Sophia has to say. <laughs> really? I want you to call your grandmother and say that Heidi Klum pushed a goat and buzzer for you. Uh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice, such a nice moment to see all that gold confetti coming down. Uh. I don't know. I've been. I've Are been, you shaking? I just have been. Like, I'm so shaking high. too. <laughs> Congratulations for tonight's Kamishwa. Little sis is so cute. I just picture the little sis really wanted to get on the microphone. <laughs> uh, Oh, she's crying. So sweet. I'm so excited for you, and I can't wait to hear what you're gonna sing next. I, mean, she I can't wait to hear. Yeah. Really, really yeah. good. She is. Yeah, I would have liked to hear Simon's commentary. I would have liked to hear everybody's commentary, but it's cool. I'm glad Heidi gave her that gold, that golden buzzer. Well deserved. This is one of those performances that wakes you up. This is one of those performances that says, hey, pay attention. <laughs> it was riveting, it was energetic, and the vocals really delivered. She could have been just this cute little girl bouncing around the stage and like just selling it, but the vocals really delivered. She has a really exciting voice. I can't wait to hear how her voice develops as she matures, but right now, it's already fire. I can't wait to hear what she sings next. We'll be sure to check it out together. I hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. If you'd like to see my other 
Got Talent Reactions, you can find them right here. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time.